Hey residents of Meeple Town, today we are taking a trip outdoors into the cold streams to the fresh water to do a little fly fishing in freshwater fly. Let's get to the table and check it out. All right, so this is what freshwater fly looks like whenever it's set up and ready to roll. You ready to catch some fish, Dean? I am ready to cast. All right, so the first thing we're going to do before we actually start the gameplay is we're going to both pick a fly, and we can pick any color that we want. And the way we're going to catch these fish, we're going to pick dye as we roll the dye, but they have to match, the hatches have to match our fly colors. So we probably want to pick a fly that there's several of them out there. But yep. additionally, we are going to score victory points based on, like, with these um, player mats here having two different color hatches. So I know which one I want. I want the white one since I see lots of hatch tokens kind of in this area and then some towards the, yeah. the front of the and screen. And these are going to be sliding down. I'm going to go ahead and take then... I was thinking about taking a white one, but let's not. Let's just take a green one. I'll I'll switch it out at some point. So I'm going to take a green one. I see there's several options there and an option up here. Alrighty. So Dean, would you like to roll the dice and start sure. the game? All I right. Sure will. Yep. All right. So we're going to be rolling these and drafting them, and these are going to determine which actions that we are going to take. In this case, since we don't have any fish uh, that we have on the hook on our fly, then we are going to be taking these to cast to specific locations. Yeah. There's only three actions that you can take in the course of the game. It's either casting, reeling the fish in, which obviously you have to have one on your line first, or you can take any die and go up two on the finesse track. I was up an extra one on the finesse track there oh, already. Yeah. Go up two on this finesse track. And we'll talk about that as we play the game as well. All right, so I, ooh, this is a tough one for me. What I really would like to have on here is, uh, let's let's do this. I'm going to take a four. I'm going to take a bit of a gamble, although it won't be a, an awful gamble. I'm going to take the four. I hope it's an awful gamble. Well, it will not pay off for me, I bet. All right, I'm going to take the four, and I'm going to throw it here to the dolly right here. Now, this is, this is a bit of a challenge because if I don't catch it, now I'll show you how to catch it. So what we're going to do, John's going to take these cards. There's four cards there. One is a catch. Three are not, and so there's a 25% chance right now that I will catch the fish. That's right. And Dean cast it here, by the way, because he took a four, and it is in the four slot. Right. So you'll take whatever slot there. So, you ready? I am, yep, I'm and ready. And his, his white fly matches the white hatch, so he can go for this. All right. Ready? Hit me. Miss. Right, I missed it, which I assumed that I would do. Now, what I'm going to let it do is I'm going to let it drift down. You can let it drift down uh, two times. Up to two times. Yeah. It will drift down here, and because I don't have a, a white fly here, it's going to drift down. A white hatch. One more. Uh, my white fly doesn't match with yeah. the, the there. Right, there's no white hatch down there, but there is here. So I do have two cards that are going to. That's right. Down. So when you drift, anytime you drift, you're actually going to get to draw two instead of one. So that leads to interesting decisions. You want to cast in front or whatever. And this also stays out on the table. So now he's got a really high percent chance. Oh. <laughs> You stack a these? really high percent chance. Uh, ah, you got one. Yes. You hooked him. <laughs> All right. All right, so this is going to go, if you notice that it's this gray border at the top, and so that will go in the gray slot here, which means I'm going to have to reel this around twice in order to be able to get that. And I take the hatch token that matches my fly color, and that will be, uh, that will be my turn. That's what you're going to do, huh? All right, Sue, so I am going to... Mm. comes out, by the way, which a coho comes And out. you get one of those. Oh, that's right. Oh, Once you, you take a fish, that. if you are adjacent to the rock pile, you get to take the card that will give you a special ability, which um, we'll, we'll kind of go th through those as we use them. Yeah. Um, so this dice roll was not... Uh, let's see. I guess I can go... For, I'll just go for one of these. Uh, all right, so I am going to take... I could do that. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's do that so you can see us catch a fish here. I'm going to take this two, and I am going to cast to this rock. Even though I have a hatch that matches my uh, fly, there's no fish there, so I can't catch that. So then I'm going to drift, and I'm going to attempt to catch what's going to help me the most. It doesn't matter. I'm going to cutthroat. It sounds tougher. I'm going to oh, catch me a cutthroat. Right there at the end. All right, so All right, I'm so going to get these. two. Cards. Yeah, it is possible that I won't catch this fish. That's right. Because I can pay one finesse to say hit me again. So I. It's really possible if I stack the deck too. But if they're yeah, it's possible. All right, hit me. 
Oh my. I get right. two. That's right. You get two. Because I drifted. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey, oh. you caught it. All right. Cool. I was a little bit nervous there. That's... It didn't have to spin my finesse. <laughs> All right. So this, since this is green, it's actually going to go to the green slot, which means it's a little bit easier to reel in, but it's not going to score me as many victory points. I should flip that over. Yeah, I didn't flip mine over whenever until after my turn. And I'm also going to get one of these. Did you talk about the rock card at all? Yeah, I just said that if you take one that's adjacent, you're going to get a rock card that yeah. can give you a special ability. It can be end game scoring. That's lots right. of different so things. So these are skills. Can so yeah. Dean can spend two finesse to change his die at one time um, on any of his turns. So over and over, right. he can keep doing it as long as he spins a finesse. This allows me to take a three and change it to a four one time on my turn. All right, so now I'm going to take another die, but here's the here's the difference between my other turn. Now I'm going to be reeling in the fish that I have. I've got this brook fish that has a drag of two. So that means for every uh, for every die that I take, it's going to subtract two from the movement around my reel. So for example, if I take a four, that will be four minus two for my drag. That would only allow me to move two on here. And I really would like to be able to get rid of that drag right off the bat. Um, and there is a token up here, so that's what I'll do. I'm going to take the four that's going to let me move two. And now I get to take one of the, what are these called again, John? Momentum. Momentum. So I'm going to take the momentum right here. And this momentum lets me take my little drag token. Uh, if I can use it, I can use this either before or after I draw a die. And if I use this right away, then I can take this token, put it on here. So now that brings my, dra my drag to zero so that I'm not losing any as I'm moving around. So it's also he takes gonna a get four me, die, he'll get to move four spaces. That's right. So I'm also going to be able to gain a finesse that will help me a little bit later, but then I have to flip that over and put it right back in there. And you can keep that until you use it, but I use mine right away. So yeah. All right. So on my turn, I'm going to be able to reel in and there are a lot of high die um, here. So I'm actually going to be able to catch this fish immediately with a four. So because it has zero on the drag, I will take the four and go one, two, three, four. This spot on the reel says if you have a green fish, you just go ahead and move it on up to the top. If you have a yellow, you move it down here. If it's a grayish color there, then nothing's going to happen. So this is actually going to move up to the top. When it comes back around, you slide it down or you catch it if you're in the green section. So because I'm already in the green section, it slides down to catching this fish. I've got me a fish. All right. All way right. to go, John. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Yeah. One, one big point. <laughs> All right. So since I feel pretty confident that I'm going to have higher numbers than John, I'm just going to go ahead and try to reel this one in as fast as I can. So I'm going to take the six, which is just going to move this around. One, two, three, four, five, six, which on this spot lets me move up one on the finesse. And because I did cross over that 12 o'clock spot on the dial, I'm going to slide that over and I'm just two spots away from being able to reel that one in. Really exciting. Hopefully. You love it. That's uh, that's something. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take, uh, since I have a really, really, again, Every man, that just, it just flew out. <laughs> that, oh, they just boy. come out like a stream from my mouth. All right. So I've got to pick a four. Let's just, I'm going to cut myself off right there. And that means I'm going to be casting, unless I took the four to go on the finesse, but I'm not going to. So I am going to cast, uh, let's see, I'm going to just go for, yeah, this grayling here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast here knowing that, oh, I can't because I don't have any hatches there. So because it doesn't match my fly, I'm going to slide down here and I'm going to attempt to catch this grayling. All right. Hit me, Dean. Okay. Hit me. Let me shuffle these up for you. Go ahead and All right. make the first one strike, please. <laughs> All right, I'm hitting you. All right, so I get two because I drifted. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yikes. Oh, that is a shame. So I'm going to spend a finesse here to tell him to hit me again. One more time, baby. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, so I'm. that's it. Um, actually, no, that's no, not you, it. You get I to, get to drift on down. Now, right. uh, actually, I could go. That coho is not bad. So you can drift twice. If that was the end of my second drift, I would that would have been the end. But because mm -hmm. I only drifted once, I'm going to drift downstream to go for this coho, which then I'm going to catch for sure. I shouldn't have spent my finesse. I should have just gone for that probably, <laughs> um, which I do have that on the line. I will get this rock power yeah. here. That's going to say spend two finesse to cast to three, which is nice because then I don't have to spend a 
die to do that. That's right. And that also depleted this pile. That does not get refilled. So those are done, even if we catch fish around there. And getting a coho is not bad because if you have the most coho at the end of the game, you're going to get six, six points. points. So, all right. I will take a four because that's, that's all that's it. left. And that's actually exactly what I needed. So I'll go one, two, three, four. Oh, how fantastic. Which is going to give me one of these uh, momentum tokens. I'll take this off. This fish is going to go up here. My drag token goes back down here. And now which tile do I want? I think what I'm going to do is take the... Uh, I'll take one that will allow me to be able to cast out for free into the three spot. Um, and th this will end it, but I just want to show you that if I'm casting out to the three, then I'm kind of thinking, you know, what 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 area I want to cast based on what fly. So I might have to spend yeah. money to uh, – or finesse points to be to able to get that. a new fly. And he'll also be able to switch out any fish That's exactly with right. another fish there, That's which right. is really, really cool. Um, so at the end of the round, what we would do actually is we would slide all these off. And so the hatch, these things change over the course of the game, which is really neat. We also have a draw bag that we would be drawing out of to put four new ones onto this one. These will actually be discarded, not going back into the bag. Um, yeah, so that's kind of nice, too, that it has an even amount of those that come out. Um, you, you also may notice uh, that there are ways, that, a few ways to score points. Let's mention this before we do sure, our yeah. gameplay thought. So uh, this is, like, for everybody. So... Any set collection of three, one gold or yellow, black or gray or whatever that is in green, every time you get three of those, you're going to score uh, three victory points. Also, the first person to catch seven fish, it's going to trigger the end of the game. That will be the last round. But additionally, they're going to score two victory points. And whoever catches the most coho is going to score six victory points. In addition to that, you see that there are victory points on the cards here. Mm -hmm. So Dean already is whipping me four to one. And then there are personal achievements down here that you're going to be trying to collect different types of the hatches or different fish down here as well. That's right. So, so I win. That's uh, nah, No, that is not <laughs> accurate. All right. So you want to go ahead and talk yeah. about art and components? That's what we should do. All right. So the art and components. I really, really, really like the components in this game. I think the... I think the reel on the game is just really cool, really cool. <laughs> you like said that, that so... Yeah. Uh, I actually didn't mean to do Bad it that time. Um, but I, I enjoy it. I think that it looks neat, but also like it just it works really well. Uh, all the, Would you say it's pretty fly? I would not. It's. <laughs> I would. <laughs> the cardboard's really thick. Um, my, a complaint, I guess, is with the yellow dye, with the white pips... Um, if you're looking at it from a distance, sometimes it can be hard to see the pips on there, but that's that's pretty minor, I think. Yeah, it's, they're pearl dye, which is kind of cool, yeah. so that's really nice as well. Yeah. yeah, I think that, and I love this. This is just yeah. like chunky yeah. and glorious. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. It feels like powerful. You're like, slam it down. I'm going for here. Um, but the art and... The art is beautiful in this game. Like Dean it said, is. the reel yeah. is fantastic. I like the hatch tokens. I think everything is is really, really nice. It's uh, it's good, man. Yep. It's good. I would agree. Love it. All right. Uh, now let's talk about the gameplay. All right. Uh, let's do right. it. I'll say I really I really like the gameplay of this game. Okay. Now that's not going to mean that I'm, I'm going to give this an amazing score. It just means that the wow, way... Wow. You you, are you already setting up to not give it a game? Maybe. I just oh, said maybe boy. I'm not. Um, maybe but you I, are. But I enjoy how you cast. Like how I, I like draft uh, dice drafting. I think that's fun. And I enjoy how you're casting and like the, the excitement that happens when you're flipping over the card. And now a negative to that is most of the time you catch a fish, right? Yes. Um, I, I know that... Uh, we, we play games where you don't catch fish, but for the most part. But the problem is, if you miss fish, that's going to slow down the game. And this game can take a, a while for what it is, I think. So so that's kind of a, a negative for me. But the excitement of catching the fish and casting and all that, I think is really cool. And the thinkiness of where do I cast in order to get this fish down here that I want to be able sure. to get. Yeah, I, mean, I agree with that. All that, really. I also think that the theme is amazing. Yeah. Like that, yeah. The, thematically, it's awesome. And it, I feel like I'm fishing. I sure. feel like when I'm out there casting and, oh, I got one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, now, I wish I caught as many fish <laughs> or hooked as many fish as you do in this game. That's true. Uh, it would be a whole lot more fun. But that that's really enjoyable. I like these the rocks down here where you're like getting these skill cards and how you're kind of building a, a I, don't, I wouldn't say an engine, but you're building a little something over here to where you're able to get more actions. The momentum tiles is, I think, one of the biggest parts of the game. Yeah. yeah. Like you have to get those, which I didn't in that whole first round, but you have to get those so that you can get double actions so that you can get more fish a whole lot more efficiently which 
which Dean obviously did the first round. So I think that is all good. Um, yeah. So so to the to the final rating for me with John, like he said about the about the theming of this. I, I fly fish. I really enjoy fly fishing, and this is a game that I was super, super excited about. And I think the gameplay itself is fun, like I said. But the set collection piece, which is what you're really playing for, is not as exciting to me. It's 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 fine, um, and I get it. Like I, I guess I get understand. Like that's probably the way to make this game. Like set collecting, set collecting different types of fish, and and all of that. But it just didn't feel, that part didn't feel super exciting, and it could potentially drag out, and it did sometimes. And so for me, that's a negative. Now, I, I enjoy this. I think it's fun. But towards the end of it, it gets less fun, I would mm -hmm. say. That's, that's been my experience. So because of that, I'm going to give this game a 7. It's a game that I, you know, that I, it, that's not a bad score at all. Like, it's, no. a, it's a fun game. Seven's good. But if there was a different way to play out the ending, I think, or something something about how, how that drags on, I think this probably would have been higher for me. But as it is, 7 isn't a bad score. I enjoy it. As it drags on, you mentioned that multiple multiple I times there. Um, I actually agree with Dean. I when I played this for the first time and I'm first casting and reeling in these fish, I literally was just having an absolute blast. It's so much fun. But as Dean said, I don't want to keep using the term drag as a pun, but it's it's the right word. It, it feels like as I'm playing the game, I'm just because set collection for me also is not super exciting. It does feel like it kind of overstays its welcome a little sure. bit. Like I'm just kind of doing the same thing over and over and over again. I mean, with that being said, I still have a really good time and I think it's a really fun game. It just, I wish that there was something that maybe changed halfway through the game or something like that that kind of made it have a different feel as the game goes on. Um, but you're pretty much casting and reeling and fish, cast, reel and fish, cast, reel and fish, and trying to do it the most efficiently. So, again, still a really good game. I actually agree with Dean 100% on this. I'm giving it 7 out of 10. Fun game, not a game that I'm crazy excited about, but man, with the theme, I like it though. It's, it's going to be hard to like take this out of my collection because it's just such a cool theme and there's going to be, I think, opportunities um, with fishermen and stuff, even if you're not fly fishermen, yeah. that I'm just going to put this game on the table and they're going to get sucked into it. So for that reason, it's worth it for me just to have this in my collection and it probably yeah. would be for y'all, especially if you like to fish. It's yeah. It's yeah, cool. and I, I, I will say because you said that I, you know, if you don't like the theme, I don't know if you're going to like the game because the the excitement comes in and you know pulling another fish like you said. So, yeah. um, so this might not be the game for you if that's if the theme doesn't drive you. If the theme does, uh, you definitely want to check this out. I think it's worth worth a try. Sure. So, yeah. Anyway, tell people how they can get in touch with us, John. Yeah. So if you're enjoying our channel, please subscribe to it. It helps us out greatly. We're on also. We're also on would be the right way to say that. Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. All those are at Meeple Town Games. We have a buffoonery podcast that you can listen to. You can go to uh, meepletown.podbean.com. You can go on iTunes, on Google Play, on Stitcher. It's on all that good stuff. Also, to take a deeper dive into our community, you can go to Board Game Geek Guild 3407 and uh, comment and get to know us a little bit better and get to know other people better. Absolutely. Thanks for coming down to Meeple Town. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meepletown Games and connect with us on the Meeple Town Guild, guild number 3407, at BoardGameGeek.com. And also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meepletown.